Welcome to learning React with me. We covered most of the topics in React Routing. I want to show you one last concept, which is NavLink. To understand the importance of NavLink, I recommend you to watch my videos on React Router v5 and nested routes before watching this video. If you recall it, we used links provided by React Router DOM in our header component. NavLink is similar to link component in all ways. Then you might ask, why use NavLink? Okay, let's see the difference between these two. If I go to the UI and click on Home, URL is updated and the Home component is rendered. Now if I move to Users, URL is updated and the component is rendered. But in order to see which path is active, you should always refer to browser URL. Maybe this is not a better user experience. We can have something to distinguish the active navigation uh, link compared to other links, right? This is where NavLink comes into picture. I'm using the same example which we used in our nested routes. Let me just update the header to NavLink and let's try to update all these links with the NavLink. NavLink is also provided by React Router DOM. Let me update all these links with NavLink. Save it and go to the UI. So we don't see any change. It's the same. Now, let me go back and add a property provided by NavLink, which is active class name. And here I'm going to give the name of the class, which I want to apply to this link when that link is active. So I have created a class in my CSS file, which is link hyphen active. Let me just add this link hyphen active. So what this will do is when the link is active, it will make the link color yellow. Let me just add this to all my links, save it and go to the UI. Now, if I go to home component, the link is yellow. And when I go to users, home turned white and users is yellow, showing that users is the current active link. Now, let's add this to our nested uh, link as well, which we used in the user component. So I'll just uh, replace link with navlink and let me import this and add the active class name here, which is link hyphen active. Let's save it and go to the UI. Now we are in users component. When I click on user one, user uh, one details are rendered and look at this user one link is also yellow users is also yellow why is this because users is nothing but slash user list user one is slash user list slash one user one the link provided for user one matches with the users link as well that's why we see these two links turning yellow but I want to see only user one in yellow, but users should be white. In order to achieve that, let's go back to headers and put a keyword called exact. Now you see users is white and user one is yellow. Is it confusing? Let me show you another example. Let me just um, copy paste this or uh, let me copy paste the home component. And I'll create another link called uh, products and update the text to products. Let's save it. And now I'll go to home and I'll go to products. So when I go to products, the expected behavior is home should be white and only the products should be yellow because this is our current active link, right? So why is this happening? Because both these links have slash home in common. 
It matches with slash home and makes both the links active. And if I add exact keyword, only the products is active. Now, if I go to home, only home is active. If I go to products, only product is active. So this is how we use Navlink to make our UI more user friendly, especially in the routing, right? I hope you understood the concept. Thanks for watching and please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.